welcome back to my kitchen. Today I want to show you how I make my lasagna. So today in my lasagna, I'm not going to be adding anything fancy. I'm just going to make a simple good old lasagna. So for this, you will need 500 milliliters of white sauce. I've got another video showing you how I make my white sauce. So be sure to check that out after this. You will also need a can of chopped tomatoes. You can use the one with herbs or the one without herbs, but today I'm going to be going with the chopped tomatoes in herbs. One medium onion, a quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper, and you can adjust the seasoning later on. Two garlic cloves, 300 grams of minced beef or minced lamb, and a handful of cheese for adding at the top. You'll also need lasagna sheets. I'm going to be using around six. I'm going to be making around two layers with the meat and one layer for the top before adding my cheese. So you need to make sure your lasagna sheets actually fit into the pan. You don't want to sit there trying to cut your lasagna sheets into the right size because I'm sure everybody's tried. It's just not possible to cut the lasagna sheets to the right size without breaking them. So try and get a pan which is the right size for the lasagna sheets. So first of all, we're going to start off by browning our garlic, our onions. Brown the garlic for a minute or two until they are a pale golden brown colour. Be careful not to burn them because they will leave a bitter aftertaste in your food. And once they have browned, you can add in your onions. Now the onions, I'm just going to let them become a light golden brown colour. I'm not going to let them go dark. And to speed up the process, I'm just going to cover my pot and let them cook for a minute. Once the onions have slightly browned, you can add in your mince. Give it a mix and let the water evaporate. So once all the water has evaporated, the meat should be partially cooked. And now you can add in your salt, pepper and I'm going to also be adding in a pinch of cayenne pepper. Um, this is optional, you can add in any other seasoning you like or any other herbs or spices you prefer and you can just give that a mix and let it cook. Keep it on a medium to low flame for around 10-15 minutes and it should be thoroughly done. All the extra water should have evaporated by now and it should look like this. Then after that you can go ahead and add in your tomato tin. So I'm going to be adding in the whole tomato tin and the measurements are in the description below but I think it's around 400 grams. So I'm just going to put that all in including the juice and everything with it and I'm just going to cover it and let it cook thoroughly and let all the water from the tomatoes evaporate as well. So after around 10-15 minutes on a high flame, uh, the tomatoes should look like this and all the extra water should have evaporated by now and it should be moist but not wet. By now your white sauce should have thickened up quite well and it should be cool. So start off by adding a little dollop at the bottom of the pan so your lasagna sheets don't move while you are layering them and place two sheets at the bottom and then add your white sauce on top to make the first layer of your lasagna. If you don't know how to make white sauce or bechamel sauce then be sure to go and watch that video after this one and in that video I will show you step by step and how to make white sauce or bechamel sauce and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more easy recipes once you've spread the sauce evenly on the first layer of lasagna sheets you can add in half of the meat add around two to three tablespoons of white sauce depending on the amount of coverage you have and you can add more or less if you wish so 500 milliliters of white sauce should be enough for around three layers of lasagna sheets and lasagna so um, you can be generous with this and then after that you can add your lasagna sheets like I have add another spoonful or two spoonfuls of your white sauce now that's the second layer started so I'm just going to add more sauce spread that evenly and then do the same with the rest of the meat that's remaining in the pan
now that's my second layer completed i'm just going to add more sauce on top and then add my last lasagna sheets on top now the sauce should be enough to cover the entire top so i'm going to add my lasagna sheets and then pour the remaining sauce all over the top and there should be enough to cover it properly if you're worried about dividing the sauce into equal parts so each layer gets a even portion of sauce and meat then you can divide the sauce into three separate bowls and that way you can be generous with the sauce without having to worry about running out then top of the lasagna with some cheese and preheat the oven to around gas mark 5 and i'm going to cover my lasagna with some foil so while the lasagna is cooking the cheese doesn't burn and halfway through cooking i'm going to take the foil off and after around 35 to 40 minutes the lasagna sheets should have cooked thoroughly and just to be sure you can check it with a knife before you serve it and if you want to make the top crispy and more golden brown then you can even grill the cheese at the top and you don't have to take the foil off halfway through cooking don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more easy delicious recipes and you can also follow me on instagram and if you do make this let me know how it turns out in the comments below and i hope to see you all next time